Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the original tour of Pearl of Africa Star Search. With the 20 last contestants now being selected, the time has come to discover each region and to decide who will represent their region and maybe become Uganda's next tourism ambassador. Second stop is the hottest and biggest region of all, the Northern Region, with tourism hotspots such as Gulu Town, Murchison Falls, Kidepo National Park and many others. Let's now meet our five northern contestants at Pakuba Lodge Marchison Falls National Park, located next to Pakwach, the home of our musical judge, the world music singer, Susan Karinan. Let's have a closer look. I am Francis Moro. I come from Gulu, based in Kampala. I'm a marketing person, and I'm also an MC. I write scripts. I do voiceovers and I do commercials for different companies that have any projects. My world is really entertainment. I'm number 03, Agamitoni, you'll see me there. And I come from a Terogo district, it was cut off Arua district. I'm a producer, I'm a songwriter, I also do a bit of DJing, and uh, basically I just love singing. And right there we greet Mingoni and you reply Mamoke. Hi, my name is Paul Uchanda. I'm a singer, an actor, an amateur actor. I am from the Northern Region, by birth. Uh, I'm from Nebi District, West Nile. Chupangira Oye. I'm from also, also from the West, Western Uganda. I'm also Nyankore. So yeah, you get the best of, I think, both worlds, yeah. My name is Opakro David. I am POA29. I'm from Gulu. I come from a place called Lalia Dwol, along Patiku Road. Cooking is my best. I like all the kind of the, 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 the cultural foods we have. I can cook all of them. Hi, my name is Onono Eric. I'm representing Northern Uganda. Uh, at this point in time, I am unemployed. So this is a very huge opportunity for me. Are you ready for this? Well, he is ready, I'm ready, and I hope all of us are in tune for the Pearl of Africa Star Search. Now remember, we are looking for a star to shine a light on the beauty of the pearl. Before getting any further, the time has come to announce the three winners of the Eastern Region. After an intensive week of voting, we are happy to announce that the POA contestant number eight, Ibrahim Balunwa, has won the hearts of the public with a total of 1,144 votes tallied from the two voting platforms. After a tough selection process, our musical judge Cindy Sanyu and tourism judge Bismarck Amunpaire have decided to select Pearl of Africa, contestant 46, Alan Watika. Pearl of Africa, contestant number 31, Patricia Mwanguzi. These two contestants have also qualified for the next round. Congratulations! Ah, man, I'm so excited. I can't wait to see what the next phase is going to bring. I just wanted to let you know. So that's it from me. See you soon. Peace. Hello, Uganda. My name is Mount Patricia. I'm so much excited. Thank you very much for having voted for me to the top 12. Special thanks to Pad of Africa. Yo, 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 I'm super excited. I just made it to the top 12 in the Pearl of Africa Star Search competition. I just can't wait to see you guys in the boot camp. Thanks to the judges and the BOA team for believing in me. I'm gassing, I'm ready to bring my A game in the next level. I feel, I feel very excited right now in our studio. We are working on our truck, a killer truck. Okay, Uganda, 
And right here in the corner, you can see we're working on the song and the melodies and putting the structure together. You are going to be shocked. It's going to be crazy. We had a beautiful studio session together, getting to know each other and uh, also getting to put up a song for, you know, uh, for their competition. Okay. So, hmm? so, no, we are in the north. <laughs> so we are doing... We combine a few voices to make that. I learned, of course, a lot. As an artist, I know that uh, this is a journey that uh, every artist will eventually walk one day. It doesn't matter whether it's in a competition or in your individual career walk. You have to get to a place where you're being tested. And I think it's a very, very good opportunity for these young artists you know, to go through it. It will pay off at one point, even if one of them gets to win the competition or not. It's something that they'll carry with them forever. And of course, also the networking, uh, the interaction with the group, but also being away from home, taking time uh, to reflect as an individual. This group have to mash up everything, you know? Wire, wire, wire! Wire, wire, wire! <laughs> okay, let's work with the guys. Okay? All right? Oh Uganda, I let me saru. 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 Na I'm Mary Makwe. I'm Larry Mutek. Na kupenda sana. I've been standing, looking at the beauty of my motherland <laughs> And I've been hoping that everybody can see what I'm seeing My battery quality, in my gun here My battery quality, in my gun here The North is a beautiful place. It's flat, so you can see everything. We had an opportunity to go for a game drive in uh, Machizon Falls National Park. Very beautiful. We had a chance to see so many animals. I saw a lion for the first time, the head is this big. If it slaps you with, it, with, with its hands, like, I mean, like, I'd rather be dead before it attacks me. It's really, really huge. At that point, I think it had already eaten, so it was just resting under a tree. Like, we basically looked for it. At first, we bypassed it, we had not seen it. So the vehicle behind actually spotted it, so we had to, you know, turn around and, you know, go and see it. Like, wow, it, it was a very thrilling moment. We watch wildlife at home every day and we're looking at lions on TV, elephants, but I had the chance, I had the chance to be a few meters yeah. away from an elephant. She was calm, she was beautiful. This is a channel where we're going to find lots of animals. We're going to see the beauty that is in the Pearl of Africa. We 
also the hippopotamus, different bird species. Man! I got to see an elephant submerged in the river. That was amazing. I'm a big lover of animals, so that was a big deal for me. Rolling in the boat. It's my first time, but I wasn't, I wasn't scared. It's just like the tourism thing was in me, and I wasn't just scared. I was standing in the water, you know, swimming around in the floating on water. As we were approaching the Machison Falls, Taban, who was our guide at Machison Falls, told me that there is a, a bar called the Crocodile Bar. Yeah, and that is where the crocodiles used to hang out before the water levels had risen. That was Aru, Aru uh, Falls. It's a really beautiful site. It's a tourism site and it's really beautiful. It has like five falls. The reason as to why I got into the water is uh, first one I was really excited and then the second one it was really hot. And then the third one, I, I, I really felt like doing just that. You know, because I mean, you'll never really get the chance again. Use whatever you have got at a specific moment and use it to your advantage to make sure it benefits you. So I felt like jumping in. The actually dancers the ding ding, the rakai dance, oh my god. I was so amazed. Those young people are really, really good at what they do. I know that they train from Monday to Sunday, 4 p.m. to 7 p.m. It takes a lot of talent. the chance to dance all the local wonderful dancers from Acholi people. It was wonderful, we sweated, we danced it all. I danced for, with them for like a minute and when I tell you sweat was coming out of places I didn't know I could sweat from, I was very amazed by that. 